Hey, hey, and welcome back to another learning Java 2D game programming video. So in our last video, we finished up the collision handling for our moving entities. So what we did was we made sure that they can't overlap with another entity, which would, well, basically make them unable to move because they would always be colliding. And after that, we also made sure to test each axis separately so that they don't stop fully in both directions if the hinder is only in one direction. And what I'd like to get onto now is to do some game logic. So the coughing will infect people and, well, things like that. But in order to do that, I'd like to see some information on my screen first. It will help a lot, which means that we need to get into some UI. So we're gonna start a basic UI system today and we're gonna spend maybe two or three videos doing UI because I, I wanna be able to do some fun things with it and it's gonna take a little work. So let's just start. We need to start somewhere and you know me by now, so let's start by making a package and I'm gonna name mine UI and inside of here, I'm going to make something called a UI component. So you might have guessed it. It's going to be abstract. OK, so this will be the super class that all of our UI elements are going to be deriving from. And I'm just going to show you an image. I guess most of you, or some of you at least, will have used CSS. You will have done something for the web. Um, some web development, and you'll probably have seen CSS. And we're going to borrow these concepts, the concept of a margin and a padding. So as you can see in this image, the margin is the spacing between either the border or another element on, on the screen. Um, it's the spacing between that and your element. And the padding is a spacing inside of your element. So from the border of your element to the content inside of your element. So we're going to we're going to borrow these concepts. All right. So the things that we need is, of course, a position on the screen. Import this. No, that's not what I wanted. All right. Sorry. So import the position. And we also need a size. And then we need a margin and a padding. And this spacing class is one that we'll be making now. So generate that inside the UI package. And what this needs to know is the spacing in four directions. So let's keep in since we're talking pixels and we can't have half pixels. So in top, just duplicate that four times. And I'm going to do right, bottom, clockwise order, left. OK. So first, generate a constructor. And we're going to have more constructors because I want to be able to do this more conveniently. So let's make a constructor that takes in a horizontal and a vertical spacing. So that would be t -t -t vertical, right? Vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. And then let's make another one, which only takes in one, which it will use for all directions. So we'll just call this and use spacing, spacing. So this will, of course, call this constructor, which we'll call this constructor. All right, let's generate some getters. So getters for all and convenience getters for horizontal and vertical. So public int get vertical, and that will be top plus bottom. And then let's just copy this, call it get horizontal, and that will be right and left. Okay, I think that's it for the spacing class. So let's generate a constructor, but I'm not going to take anything in. I'm going to set some default values in here. So position can be a new position, 
just give it zero zero which is top left size will be a new size and I will give mine one by one pixel because later we're gonna generate the images the graphics for the UI component and if our size is zero then well the create compatible image method will be very sad so just do that and let's set our margin to a new spacing but I'm gonna set mine to zero so by default we have no margin but by default let's have some padding all right that's it let's just make getters and setters for all for right now because I think we're gonna use it all right and then let's make a public abstract image get sprite so all of our components need to know well what they're gonna look like so they're gonna make their own sprites and also we're most likely going to need the old update with the state all right I think this is it we'll come back if it's not so let's make something that uses or that is a UI component and I'm gonna make something called a UI container so my my idea for this container is that this is what will keep UI components but it will also be a UI component so in that way a UI container can contain other UI containers and that might be a little complicated I hope it's not gonna be but I think that will give us a lot of freedom right so if you have used CSS you can have uh, you can like order your your children in a row or a column so in a horizontal or a vertical direction and I want my UI container to be able to do that as well and if you can have UI containers within UI containers then you can have you can group your UI elements and you can you can display them in different orders and I just think it will be nice I hope it won't be too complicated we're gonna try it but so in order to make that happen this needs to be a UI component right so let's just implement these methods and we won't get into that today let's just get something to display on the screen so we're not going to add a list of ui components in the ui container in this video what we are going to need is a background color and this color can of course be transparent if we like and we might actually want it to be that by default but let's just make a constructor let's not take in the color but let's first call super and then let's make the background color Let's make it red so that we can see it clearly. All right. So what we are going to need is we're going to be able we're going to need to be able to calculate let's see a, 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 a private void calculate size. And for this video it's going to be very simple. We're not returning anything. Uh, the size should be a new size and I forgot to make them protected right? I made them private. That's not what we wanted. So make all of these protected. Okay back to our container. So the size will be a new size and if I just bring up the this image again the size of a container will be its padding on both of these sides plus the size of its contents its children right but right now we don't have children so the size will just be the padding and the position will of course be the margin so back to our code so the size as we said it'll be padding uh, get and we're starting with horizontal right yes and then padding get vertical so width and height and we need one for the position as well position so position is equal to a new position and we start with margin get left and then we have margin get top and let's import that position 
All right, we have a size, we have a position. We need to make our sprite and you've done this before. So let's just say image is equal to, and we're gonna need to cast it to a buffered image, call image utils and create compatible image. And we have our size and let's make it bit masked. Okay, so let's get that graphics to D graphics is image create graphics and let's say graphics color set color yeah background color and then let's fill it fill rect and we are just filling our own um our own bounds right now so we start at top left of our sprite and then we fill it with size get width and size get height so the entirety of this container will be filled. Right now we don't have anything else to draw. We will draw children uh, after this in the future, but we don't have any of those yet. So just dispose, free that memory and return that image. And let's say every update we do this, we calculate the size and we calculate the position. And we probably just wanna do it here when we when we instantiate our container as well. So hopefully this is enough. If not, we'll notice. So what we need to do this now is we need to use it in our game. So go to your state and I'm gonna make a protected list of UI containers. So this is what I was talking about. I want the container to sort of not be a um, it's, it's above the UI component, so it is a container of UI components, but it also is a UI component. But it's important that we only want the containers in our state. Okay, so let's make that a new array list. And we'll need a getter. Alt insert, make a getter for the UI containers. And we also need to update it, of course. So UI containers, just like we're doing with the game objects, UI container, UI container, update this. All right, I think that this, that's it for this class. We're gonna need to use one though. So let's go to our game state and make initialize UI. And let's create that method. And for now, let's Actually, yeah, let's make a UI container container new UI container. And then let's do UI containers add container. There's a reason why I'm doing it outside. You'll see in a minute, second, I don't know, no minute, because we first need to go to our display and make it render. Oh, and this, so we have render map, and this is basically render game objects. So we should probably put that in its own, let's just make it private, void render game objects. And I cut that out. So state, state, graphics, sorry, graphics, and paste it back in. So just do render game objects, state and graphics, and then do render UI also with state and graphics. So let's create that method. And first we need to get the UI containers from the state. Say for each, I think this is all we need to do for each UI container. Let's do graphics, draw image. Okay, so the UI container knows its own sprites. And we'll use the UI containers position in X UI container get position in Y and then the mysterious image observer, which we do not use, which is null. So hopefully now, let's just remove unused import. Hopefully now it'll work. Let's see if we missed something. And we did not miss something. Look, it's very small, but there it is. The reason it's so small is of course it has no contents and it only has a five pixel spacing uh, in each direction. So that's actually 
why I did this so that we can easily just try it. Let's set a new padding. Let's give it a spacing of 50 so that we can clearly see this container. And look at that, much larger, awesome. We can also try to give it some margin, set margin, new spacing. Let's give it something like 10 and hopefully we'll see now that it's, yeah, good, awesome. So it is working the way we expect it to and I'm very happy about that. All right, I don't think I have time to do anything else in this video, so we will continue and do more fun stuff in the next video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Hey, do.